hello everyone welcome back to my channel i have another watch me work video and it's this cute little overlay for my baby sister she's 11 so she gets cute little star nails but i'm actually surprised at the design she picked out kind of this matte nude with the black stars and it's kind of contemporary a little bit different than you'd expect a kid to have but still has that playful vibe you know so this is her previous set her little overlay and it's about five weeks old i believe and she has just a mood changing polish with the galaxy pigment and i'm just showing you there's no lifting so first i'm going to start off by taking off her previous set well taking it down um and then filing the length down as well and she had a previous uh like glow in the dark set like two sets ago I think I call them sets. I mean, she just gets an overlay over her natural nails, so that that's what I mean when I say a set. Um, she doesn't get any tips or sculpts or anything like that. Like I said, it's just an overlay. But I'm taking down the product considerably, um, so it's a little bit thinner, so I can apply the nude color that you see for the final product, because that is only the Builder Gel that I use to achieve that nude. So I'm just taking down the clear and you can see like this one, it looks like something's wrong with her nail, but it's just the glow pigment, like that kind of off white color. It kind of looks like the, um, the free edge of her nail is kind of like crazy and her, she has some like onyculosis or something like that, but she doesn't. So her nail is absolutely fine and excuse her little, I mean, her hands are clean. She's just is like playing and stuff like summer just hit and she had like a ink or something on one of her fingers and just she's 11 so just excuse her and all all that drama <laughs> so i um took the product down considerably not down to her bare nail or anything but um just where it's really thin and i knew that the um, builder gel would cover what was left and so after I did that, I'm going to go ahead and prep her nails. So I'm just scraping off any um, overgrown cuticle that's on her nail plate and pushing, you know, her epinicium back. And um, then I'm going to go in gently. This is sped up a lot. This part is. And what I'm doing is taking, um, removing any leftover cuticle that's on the nail plate. And again, it looks so aggressive. And I just want y'all to know it's at a, such a low speed, but it is sped up. And I'm gently going over the nail plate just to remove any shine. So we have great adhesion with the builder gel. And this is a skiver bit and the um, information will be in the description box below. And I'll be using acetone for the prep, um, the rubber base coat from the gel bottle ink. And um, also um, the number 19 builder gel um or their builder in a bottle that they would call it and it says like a french rubber base on the the bottle and i'm just cleansing the nail with the acetone and that is per the um the manufacturer's instructions you don't need any primer any protein bond anything like that they just instruct you to cleanse the nail with acetone and then go in with the base coat and my, um, I've been trying this out with my sister for about, gosh, since March, February or March. And currently it is June, so however many months that is. And she hasn't had a lifted nail, a broken nail. She hasn't had anything wrong with them. And I usually do her nails, only get a chance to do her nails like every five weeks, four to five weeks. And she's never had a problem with them at all. And I figure if it can last with you know, an 11 year old all these months, I just, I just been feeling her nails and I actually haven't been taking them down as low as I have this time. We just wanted to go with this nude color. So she's just literally been getting feels and literally like has not had an issue. So I really believe in this product and if it can last with an 11 year old doing who knows what with it, whatever she does in recess, <laughs> then, you know, I've used it before and it's lasted really well with me as well. So I just went in and applied the base coat, cured it, just applied it real thin like a regular polish. And then um, with the Builder Gel, you can see you just kind of paint it on like polish as well. Because it's an overlay, it does not need to be thick. So you can see how I'm applying it. 
it's not really much to say. I went and applied a thin coat, cured it, and applied another thin coat and cured it again. And if there's any areas where I feel like it's kind of a little bit less, you can see I'm kind of adding some product right there. But it's it's self-leveling and it's such an easy product to work with. And then that's it. Now, if you're building out, like if you're sculpting or using tips, of course you want to build it up much more. But to keep from her nails looking kind of wide and bulky, I just leave it at those, you know, the base coat and those two, you know, thin layers of the builder gel. And that's all you need, you know, because her nails are really strong on, you know, their own. So after I cured the nails, you know, the base coat and the two layers of the builder gel, the nude builder gel, I'm going in, I'm just shaping, you know, cleaning up her free edge. And then I'll actually go in with this cross cut bit and kind of refine the surface of the nail and thin it out a little bit. You don't want it to look too thick, especially like towards like the sidewall. So I kind of focus and make sure that that's kind of brought in. And I mean... I just hate the way it looks when you have these, you know, a short little set like this, even if it's on an adult, but then it's kind of wide and you kind of tell it's wider than it needs to be for their actual nail bed, you know, shape, if that makes sense. So when I'm doing client's nails like this in general, just a simple overlay on, you know, a kind of a natural length nail, I really like to make sure I bring in the sides, not where the shape is tapered but where it doesn't look like you have a wide nail bed, if that makes any sense, and kind of thin it out towards the free edge. And that also makes it look a little more natural and makes it feel a little more natural to the clients. Um, you know, it's nothing like having these short nails that are like super thick and you can't like do anything with them. That's no fun. So I just use the cr cross cut bit and then I'm just taking a buffer and kind of refining everything, buffing the surface, making sure there's texture to it um, so we can go on to our next step and so we're going to go ahead and stamp and I love using this color club where's the soiree it's one of my favorite black polishes to use it's very opaque and dark and I'm using the um, art screens from caption polish and this is the escape artist set and the stamper from uh, caption as well and I really like the stamper and the polish, they just all work well together. I know there's some, you know, secret formulas, but these work great together. And you can see how beautiful that black shows up. So I'm just stamping and I didn't want to, I don't want to dive too deep on the process of stamping. There's a million stamping videos on YouTube and I don't use anything I should have. I don't have anything to put around her cuticle area. So I just go in with the stamp and to good old nail polish remover acetone and get it off <laughs> so next i'll be stamping with the black stamping gel from wildflowers nails and this i will be using as a base for the blue holographic nail foil that you've seen so i just stamp that i cure it for half the recommended time just so it still is tacky and you can get the instructions from the website and i did not remember to clean around her skin before I cured the gel and applied the foil um you know my sister she still loves me um it wasn't that hard to get off at all actually surprisingly so don't do that but it's the only one I recorded so I can't act like I was perfect in the situation so I had to throw it in this video don't do it learn from me so I'm using the Presto matte gel top coat and applying it to the ones that have just a straight up black stamping gel. And this is such an amazing matte top coat. And um, I do want to look into the Ugly Duckling one and um, the LAC one, but I really like this one. It's very, very matte as far as gel polishes goes and it lasts really well. But let me know below your experience if you use the LAC one or the Ugly Duckling one. And then I'm using the gel bottle ink, um, no wipe top coat for the nail with the foil because she wanted to leave that one shiny. And these these are all my sister's specifications. I just want y'all to know. So I'm just going off what this little client tells me. So I just use alcohol and a lint-free wipe to remove the inhibition layer from the um, the matte top coat nails. And you can see the difference on how matte that matte top coat is versus shiny. 
And I just wanted to show you guys the difference versus the matte and shiny so you can kind of see how great that matte top coat is. So I went in and finished cleaning up on her nails as good as I could. And uh, this is the final product. So my motivation for showing you this overlay is just to portray how easy the builder in a bottle gels are to use, especially for an overlay. It's just like polishing your nails. So it's a very durable product. Like I said, she's 11 and her nails, you know, last amazingly. And I promise y'all, she doesn't pay attention to them like that. <laughs> so if you have any questions about the product, please leave them below. I'll leave all the information I can in the description box if I don't answer your question. It, chances are it's in the description box so please don't forget to thumbs up that really helps me out a lot and um also subscribe thanks you guys bye